So unfortunately, yes, this is the type of stuff that happens when you have a lot of mods like this, and I knew that that's why I was a little bit worried about this campaign, that something funky was going to go down. Uh, I did, in fact, have to delete the city-states. Um, I don't feel terrible, too bad about it, because it's not like Canada really had a anywhere close to winning a diplomatic victory. Obviously, a science victory is going to get beaten out uh, before that victory type, um, but it does change the game a little bit here. Now, obviously, this was really my only choice uh, because the alternative was to just completely stop the series without any, you know, any knowledge or any victory type or whatever it may be. Uh, so I am glad that I was, I'm just thankful, yeah, that we were able to kind of save this sort of series. Um, again, this will probably be the only campaign that I use this many mods in because that I, I knew that it's going to be unstable. Some of you guys knew uh, unstable. Is that a word? Come on, Drew. Uh, I, I knew that it wasn't going to be that stable. Uh, and even you guys knew in the comment section that you can be careful because this, this, you know, with all these mods, this is how you get some crashes that go down. Uh, it wasn't really a crash, it's just, that also has been affecting my Rome campaign, which is really strange, but uh, luckily, again, it didn't really affect the game too much. As you can see, Canada still has 10 votes. Oh, I mean, they don't still have 10 votes, but the uh, the city states were divided between the Philippines and Canada. Canada still controls the United Nations, not as heavily as they used to, though. Uh, though uh, as, you, as, as they used to, though. The Philippines had a little bit more votes as well. Previously, now they're down to four. Again, nothing game changing. The tech, the the end results of the victory, I think, will still remain the same. Uh, you know, the World Congress is a little bit different now, but obviously, we didn't. You know, we concluded that no one was going to win that diplomatic victory in the first place. It'll probably go down to a science victory. Let's go ahead and double check on the uh, influence by player and check once again how the Philippines are doing. So right now, it's 78 turns. They have 78 turns before they become influential with the Canadians. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. They uh, technically are not, oh, that's right, they're not influential with us or the Canadians. So, again, we have to kind of watch that, and I will check before every single beginning part of the series. Um, I'm going to say every single beginning video, I guess you could say. Um, but this is the other big implication, is now there's a little bit more free land, which I actually find something kind of interesting. I... I think this is going to be fascinating because there has been more free free land, um, mainly in the middle of the continent where anybody can get to, which is, I don't know. I think that's going to be fascinating to see. I mean, Mali might be, Mali or Belgium could grab a, uh, a province. Oh, why do I keep messing that up? Could grab a city here. Um, and then, you know, there's these islands out in the middle, out here in the coast. So um, it'll be interesting. The race for these, like, newly unfounded lands, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and continue on. Now, Hungary has taken a huge control over the eastern part of this Pangaea map. Um, they are certainly controlling a lot of the civs around them. Like, well, I mean, Champa, here's the thing, though. I mean,. If the nations unify against Hungary, they might be able to take them down. Uh, Finland is... No, they're not dead. That's right. Finland is not dead. Uh, they still have their... Now they've become the new... Uh, Inua tribe, I guess you could say, because they only have their one capital city, uh, which was actually formerly the Inua tribe was just off here, uh, right over towards the east. I'm wondering if the Pope is going to think about maybe attacking them at some point. That might not be a terrible idea. I, I think that that's what they're going to do, actually. They have an artillery here. They've got uh, two infantry units, privateer and artillery unit. Uh, two artillery units, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. They've got some ships, so, I mean, they can do some stuff. They they technically could do quite a bit here. But like I said, with, with Hungary, it'll be an interesting scenario because if, if for some reason the Champa and the Prussians team up, then yeah, I mean, you're talking about a very vulnerable Hungarian empire where they just took out a lot of, they took, you know, quick cities, they took three quick cities, and uh, they did lose a, a big chunk of their army. I'm sure they're not anywhere close to the top five anymore. I know that they were for a while there. We should probably check on the Infoetics, but maybe we'll wait to the next turn. Oh, that's another thing that I have not checked in on, is the resources. Uh, a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things have happened over the break. Uh, so I, because it's been a while, I was like, I don't know why I waited this long to discover uranium oil and, uh, and coal. So let's go ahead and double check. Uh, let's see, what would be the best way to do it? There's no way we're going to be able to actually <laughs> actually find all this stuff. So the Philippines for sure have uranium. They have oil as well. I'm sure that they might get a little bit more, and they have coal. That's all really matters. Now, do these, does Afghanistan have any uranium? They do not. They actually do not right now. There's nothing on the lands that the city-states were on. There's not really. I mean, there's some oil resources, some coal here, some salt, but nothing... 
super significant. I guess there's a little bit of coal, so I guess a little bit, but it's all about uranium, and there really is a lack of uranium on this map, because remember, this is a, technically, it's a dual-styled map, so it was only meant for four sieves, which means that there is a lack of uranium for the amount of sieves that are con currently uh, in the game still. So the Philippines, for sure, have access to a nuclear bomb. It actually does not look like Canada, does. Canada though, though. Um, I don't think they do. Nothing up here in Montreal. I don't, I don't see anything, actually. So uh, the Pope does, and we did see that Hungary had built up them themselves, uh, yes, the, uh, the Manhattan Project, and they do actually have uranium. So Canada does not. Wow. Shocked about that. Very shocked that Lester did not manage to get at least just one source of uranium. It's really close. I mean, they could slap down a citadel and steal some away, and, you know, the AI loves to slap down citadels. Oh, they do. They do. Okay, okay. So Canada has some. The Philippines have some. Hungary has some. Uh, those are among the biggest na nations in the world right now. Afghanistan doesn't. And I am considering maybe Afghanistan in like a a fourth place some, somewhat. Somewhat of a fourth place. Maybe Afghanistan and the Pope uh, maybe tied for that fourth place. Um, the Pope, however, does have uranium. I, I can't, you know, but I don't want to like... No, no disrespect to the Cham Empire. They're doing it awesome too. Um, it's just that I don't, well, I mean, they are doing pretty good, actually. It might be a tie. Prussia's kind of a city-state at the moment, just kind of like Finland. Well, I mean, that's a little bit different. Oh, did, what does Canada have up here? Oh, nothing, okay. Just checking if they had any sort of sources of, of strategic resources or anything like that. Um, but let's go ahead and get rid of the, uh, rece re uh, resource icons. Molly has denounced Hungary, as I expect to see more and more of. And bam, Hungary has now built up the Apollo program. So it's a race. It is a race. And I think it's going to be a science race to the end. Uh, it, it definitely seems that way. Let's go ahead and check again. Uh, I'm not going to check all of the info addicts, but we'll check technologies. We might as well, right? The Philip, oh my gosh, one technology behind. So uh, as of the last few videos, Canada has remained in just about two techs behind. Now they are one tech behind. And I'm wondering if it's the lack, or I guess if, if it's the amount of cities that the Philippines control, that might be causing them a little bit of issues right now. Um, technically, according to science, yeah, Canada's generating way, they're having way more science output. So Canada could easily swoop in on a victory and maybe bring this game home. Bring this as a victory for the Canadians. It, it's, it's possible, but it does seem like, oh, look at that. It's gone down back to 19 turns. So what is going on there? Very weird stuff. Uh, it was at like 60 before. I, I don't know, but it, it's, it's fluctuating. That's for sure. Um, it, it is fluctuating, but I, I don't know if it's going to continue with that. Prussia has now declared war on the final final remaining fin Finnish city uh, up north here. Oh, yeah, that thing is done. Actually, maybe it's not, because Belgium has no melee units. They've got no melee ships that can just walk into this uh, final city. I didn't even realize that the Pope has gotten over this way, too. They must love their, their snowy... They're snowy tiles, I guess. The Philippines have denounced Canada. Ooh, so now we're starting to see some interaction. Prussia actually managed to grab and take away a, a, some some little lands away from the city-states. Uh, the Philippines have a lot of money, but so does Frederick of Prussia. Way more than everybody else. Wow. So Prussia can buy some units. And obviously, because I discovered uranium, I've got access to a whole bunch of new spies. I'm spying on Afghanistan, Hungary, uh, the Philippines, and Canada. Uh, now, what did they discover for me? Right now, Budapest is secretly plotting against the Goths. We also have, wait a second, uh, well, Hungary, Budapest, Hungary. We have Stephen building up a sneak attack against another civilization. Maybe that's for the Goths. I, I don't know. It could be. But then again, they lost a lot of their navy out here in the middle of this lake. The Afghan army is launching another sneak attack, or I guess not another, but they're also launching their own sneak attack. And then we have Manila plotting against Canada. Yeah, no big surprise there. I don't think now again I don't know I want to know how much that that cultural that that influence before Philippines become influential with Canada I want to know how many turns that's going to be because we are seeing it continuing to influx uh it, like fluctuate here and I, I'm wondering I, I don't know. I mean, because can can Canada squeeze out the victory? It looks like they're going to squeeze they if the game were to go on, then Canada would ultimately I would think squeeze out the science victory. But is that necessarily what's going to happen? Who knows? I don't know if there's going to be that war that we ultimately, you know, all kind of predicted and, and, and I guess we all wanted, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just, I just need to kind of keep on checking in 
16. Now they're only 16 turns away. It. I don't... Oh, man, what is going on here? Very strange stuff. Hungary's playing against Mali, uh, and actually so are the Philippines. A couple of denouncements are going on. Denouncements of actually Afghanistan. Prussia and Afghanistan have signed a research agreement. Canada's publicly denounced Afghanistan. A declaration of friendship from Canada and Hungary... Finland has publicly denounced Canada. Finland has publicly denounced Afghanistan. Mali has publicly denounced Afghanistan. Uh, Mali has publicly denounced the Pope. And finally, the Pope has denounced Afghanistan. Was that denounced? I don't know. Lots of just crazy... I mean, how many civs are we down to? This is probably one of the uh, the lowest amount of civs we've had ever in an AI-only battle that have remained in the game. And that's what I expected. I actually expected to lose a little bit more than this. I'm shocked that we haven't. Well, we might lose Finland at some point, but we are down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, and that's, and that's prob- it's very probable that, that that will go down to 10, more than likely. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it, if it does, in fact, go down to 10. So what do we have? Budapest. Uh, Hungary is plotting against Cham, the Cham Empire. So what does that mean for Hungary, though? What is Hungary going to do? How can Hungary really have implications? Because it, the funny thing is, technically, Hungary has a border with both the Philippines and Canada. So if they want to launch their own war against them, then they can do it. They can watch, launch any sort of war they want, whether it be uh, Canada to maybe stop a possible science victory or the Philippines to stop the cultural victory. Surprise that actually the Philippines haven't declared war on anybody smaller, like the Goths. Uh, they've had these land ships here for quite a while, so I, I don't know, I... I figured they would have gone to war with somebody by now, but I guess not. Philippines have denounced Finland. Finland is still alive. But again, they are down to one uh, one city. One city. Now, is the Pope still... I think I thought the Pope peace... The Pope's not at war with Finland, I don't think. If they are, they're going to be in a tough situation. Belgium is, though. Belgium took, took just took down this final Finnish city with uh, just a bunch of battleships. They They unfortunately didn't seal the deal, though. They did not seal the deal, which seems to be kind of the reoccurring theme for Belgium. Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, thank you very much, Philippines, for letting us see the war, the final war against, uh, this will probably be the last big war that goes on in this video, uh, I'm, I'm, or I guess in this series. I'm wondering if Hungary's going to join in at all. Now, that's what I want to see. Okay, so this is going to be a massive massive war but you know what if if canada wants to maybe turn the tide here this is the opportunity to do so um again they are they're at 17 turns looks like they, they might have lost the turn they're falling with hungary but i don't think that's going to fall in slow enough to a significant point they're pretty influential with just about everybody at the moment shocked that actually managed to happen i didn't think that was going to happen afghanistan's plotting against prussia Okay, let's see what happens. So, luckily for the Philippines, they did, in fact, get the Pope in on the uh, Canadian War. I don't think that... I don't think Canada really has the military to be able to fight two fronts, especially Ottawa here, Kingston, and Montreal. I don't know how they're going to defend those cities when they have... They, they separated their empire, and that was that's a, always a problem for the AI. Always a problem for the AI. It looks like we might see a pretty big... A pretty big maybe end to the Canadian... The Canadian Empire, I think it might fall in a devastating factor, a devastating fashion, I guess I should say. It, I don't even know where the Canadians, like, military is at. If we look in the info addicts and we check on military overview, what's going on? Philippines, wow. Just so much more of an army. Almost 100 and, what, 30,000 more men? And then, you know, just having the Pope in on this just it doesn't make matters any better for Leicester. Science funding. And uh, international games. Yeah, we, we knew about that. So I'm pretty sure by taking away just a few cities from Canada, that should maybe boost boost up Philippines, the Philippines above above and beyond, I guess you could say, because they're going to also not only grab, grab away tourism, but they could maybe take away, they're also going to take away the culture generated per turn, which is kind of that defense that you use to stop a cultural victory. Uh, boom, that's one city that's for, fallen. Uh, Saigon, that's a pretty significant city. I'm wondering if they took any great works in the process. Maybe, maybe not. Um, did they win because of that take there? No. It's actually gone up for some reason. It's now up to 30 turns. Maybe my theory is wrong. 
I figured it would take. A, I, I figured that if you took cities, if the Philippines take a few cities over, then that would be enough. Not only would they be get, getting great works themselves, but they'd also take away some of that culture generation uh, that Canada is receiving to stop the uh, the tourism. Oh, Ottawa is down in the red in terms of their city defense. I don't know what happened to the Canadian naval. Uh, Canadian fleets. They had a huge fleet beforehand, but I guess it's gone. They also might be too preoccupied with dealing with the Pope. Uh, that could be an issue, too. Looks like the Pope has lost a lot of units, though, so far. Yeah, Canada's focusing way too much on the Papal States, and that's kind of the problem. Well, I mean, Ottawa's holding strong. They're, they're okay for now. Philippines are still... Ooh, but here you go. Maybe there's going to be a switch. I didn't realize that there was a fleet down this way, although, of course, you know, it's not... This Filipino city is not on this side of the coast, so uh, technically these ships will never reach this city. Unless they're, it doesn't even matter. If they had a submarine to go under this ice, these ice sheets wouldn't matter because they can't melee attack this this ship or this uh, city. The Philippines and Belgium have signed a research agreement. Albert has entered the atomic era. Ooh, the Champa have built the Manhattan Project now too. Ottawa's into, into the red as well, but... Uh, Again, as of I well, right now they only have a Filipino infantry unit, and I don't know if that's going to be enough. It should be. I mean, there's a railroad. They could be able to walk into Anna, uh, Ottawa at some point. Ooh, that's going to be close. I mean, yeah, you can pretty much just guarantee a uh, a victory for the Philippines if they take Ottawa. Well, I mean, it's. I think. I think at this point we can, we can. It's safe to assume that maybe. It has 28 turns. It's still 28 turns. What do we got here? The Pope has peaced out with the Goths. Looks like the Pope has lost enough troops to maybe uh, get them to peace out from other wars, as we can see. Because that what, that's what's currently happening right now. Okay, let's see if the Philippines take it. They should be able to. No, they have a great... It doesn't matter. They don't. Yeah, the Great Wall didn't matter. I don't know why I thought that. We are way beyond that, Drew. We are way beyond the Great Wall. So was that enough? Was that enough to change the tide here? I, I'm sorry, I'm just constantly checking on 13 turns. Signed delegates. Um, now, technically, the game is not over. They need to become influential with the Canadians. But what I, why I'm saying that is because there is the Hungarian Empire in the East that has built the Manhattan Project. They are, I think, either they're working on or they've built the Apollo program. Could they swoop in for a science victory? If it still takes the Philippines a long time... To, to grab the cultural victory, then yeah, I, I think that it, 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 could, it could happen. It really could. I mean, I'm sure there may be ganging tourism with each city that they take. I, I don't know. Um, again, always kind of double-checking here and making sure. What do we got? Mm, Ten turns. Okay. So science funding was passed. That might slow them down a little bit. I will say that might slow them down a little bit, and the international games always gets passed. Uh, not sure how many turns that's going to buy. Probably not that much, but I know that... Uh, actually, no, because it's just going to... Yeah, the science funding is just going to penalize the generation of like artists and musicians and things like that. So I don't think it should really hurt the Philippines that much. At least I don't believe so. Now, Hanoi might fall to Canada. I'm sorry. Now, Canada might have Hanoi fall to the Philippines. I had one of my spies leave. That's fine. This game is just about wrapping up. Champ of uh, peace out with the Afghan government, I guess, the Afghan nation. It's actually... Fa Wait a second. What? Why? Why is it falling? So the weird thing is I'm getting the vibe that maybe, just maybe, the Philippines are going to have to take over every single Canadian city. Or, or maybe, maybe the whole science funding is having a bigger impact than we initially thought. Ooh, Hungary's now going after the Pope. As well as, you, we do have Champa. They, they're also going after the Champa. But, but actually, that was a coalition. Uh, it's, it's not... No, 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 I'm sorry. No, I, I totally read that wrong. So, both Champa have has supported their neighbors to the north of Hungary while they engage the Pope. And they're going to probably be really successful. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a really successful war for Hungary. Wow. Wait a second. I'm, I'm, we're starting to see some very interesting pieces go on throughout here. Nine turns away. I, I'm going to have to check on that probably every turn. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to check if when Hanoi falls. Actually, it might not. As of right now, they don't have any... Well, can the, can the land ship... Yeah, the land ship can melee unit. Can melee attack. 
Well, still, I mean, Hungary is going to solidify that they control the, de the east. They certainly control the east. Boom, there goes Hanoi. And uh, it does look like we are in the final stages of our game. Maybe the next video will be it. Um, anyways, guys, I'm about to stop right there. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.